guys and welcome welcome to another video of mine and today I'll be showing you has to be my most favorite weapon because it can do something very special as you see here see that the shells can actually go in the weapon so here we have the Mossberg 590 The Mossberg. The Mossberg 590 is the type of Mossberg shotgun used by the US military and the police officers is the really and the reason why the 590 is there, the 590 is actually I think it is a tube extension extension from the original Mossberg. So I think that's what it it is there is another version there can be a grip but i rather have the how do i say it um other style hold it like like my class you know that's my favorite one but i think there's actually a pretty short history about it but i can go into details about the weapon so like the details so like the details like the barrel right here and the front iron sights and right here we have the pump action um how do you say it uh whatever it is and here we have the end of the barrel right here right here this is for the where you put the shotgun shells in they can only hold two but i wish i could put more but i can only put two for now so, if we go over here, in our bottom half of the gun, right here is, the reason's right here, the hole right there, because, crap, shotgun shell, or just a technic, um, axle piece, can put it in. My fingers are a little bit too big, so, might be, like that. It can easily come out, too. Well, the other shock and chill got stuck, but it doesn't really matter. I can fix that. Yeah, there we go. And if we go over here, right here, I put this right here. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's for the, what do you call it? For you put more shotgun shells on it. But it doesn't really do that, so there's no point, but it's just there for looks. And here we have the rear iron sight look down on it and if we go here we have an upside down move tile piece you can tell by it upside down there we go and i think that's pretty much it for this weapon so now we're gonna go into the tutorial i split the weapon into about i think five sections in this part right here, I had to use tape to make it work. So that's so I'm sorry if you don't have tape, but I'm sure lots of you do have tape, so it's not gonna be a problem. But I think I'm just gonna take off the tape for now. So you can understand what's going on here. Why I put the tape. So I technically put the tape to hold these two pieces together. So I will show you where to put the tape. The tape is importantly needed for the shotgun shells to go on the weapon. So. so now we have six sections to do. Yeah, so we're going to start with this part and work our way up.
guys, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial I made for you guys. And please like and subscribe and comment what gun I should make next. But until then, goodbye.